Meet Juana of Castile, also known as Juana la Loca, Joanna the Mad, best known for sleeping with the corpse of her husband. Let's dive into her chaotic love story and figure out why she is known as the Crazy Queen. Juana was born on November 6, 1479 to the first king and queen of Spain, Isabella of Castile and Ferdinand II of Aragon. She came from the house of Trastamara, which had been engaging in cousin marriages for centuries. Her parents were second cousins, but despite this, she did not encounter many physical or mental challenges at first. She was known to be an intelligent and clever child who loved to read. At age 16, she entered into an arranged marriage with Philip the Handsome, son of the Holy Roman Emperor and founder of the Habsburg dynasty in Spain. He was known for being a philanderer, and despite her marriage being arranged, Juana quickly fell in love with him. Unfortunately, Philip only loved Juana from a physical standpoint and continued his philandering ways. Juana became jealous and fell into a depression that would soon deepen after a series of tragedies following her marriage. Shortly after her wedding, John, her only brother, passed away. Two months later, his widow wife gave birth to a stillborn. Her sister Isabella then died in 1498, and just two years later, Isabella's son Miguel passed away. These tragedies took a toll on Juana's mental health. In 1502, she suffered from a complete mental breakdown, crying herself to sleep and throwing herself against the wall. Philip, her husband, deserted her to go to his homeland of Flanders as a way of punishing her for her behavior. He took a mistress with him. Juana desperately wanted to go, but her mother, Queen Isabella, forbade it initially, having her locked up. After days of Juana pacing, babbling incoherently, and refusing to eat or drink, Juana's mother finally gave in and let her go to Flanders. When Juana met up with Philip, she encountered his mistress. She then grabbed a pair of scissors and cut off a portion of the woman's hair, but this wasn't enough, so she stabbed her in the face. Despite all this, Juana still loved him, and when he came home, she ordered her maids to mix quote-unquote love potions in an attempt to win his heart. On September 25th, 1506, Philip suddenly died after a five-day fever. Shortly after he was buried, she ordered him to be exhumed. When the coffin was opened, she leaped to his side and kissed his feet. Philip went everywhere with her, from trips to dinner and even to her bed. She usually kept his coffin closed, but would open it to talk to him or gaze at him. She wore black every day until her death in 1555, 49 years after Philip died. Historians believe Juana suffered from a range of mental problems including psychosis, schizophrenia, and manic depression. <laughs>